I'm back. Yeah, I haven't touched a PC or a woman <laughs> uh, for three or four weeks. I've been away. I posted some shit posting on my phone, and I'm probably gonna delete those videos because they are just <sighs> they're poorly edited. They look whack. But yeah, I am back, and I have to make an announcement that I kind of want to make for let's say a year when I found out. And by the title, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. I It's not the first time I'm exposing this. I've actually made a video to my Romanian channel when I've talked about this issue. But I feel it's more personal and uh, it should be discussed with you guys because you guys are my community. And I respect each one of you. I don't value your money or your views or your likes. only value your acceptance. And uh, I just want to be real with you guys. I don't want to be faking anything. As I previously made in videos since 2017 saying I'm not going to be faking YouTube. And at the same time, I believe that for the longest, I can finally say that I'm finally not making and continue to make YouTube for money. I won't care about this channel anymore in terms of how, money, how much money I get, how well the channel is doing. And it's funny because ever since I stopped doing that... The channel did better but anyway let's forget or i don't know let's forget about this intro and get straight into the topic so yes the title is not clickbait i am schizophrenic i suffer from schizophrenia and i did so for you cannot believe it almost five years i've been schizophrenic for four almost five years and you can see in the past on my channel since june the 1st or the 3rd of June, I've kind of started to be a bit edgy. And let me tell you why I've been edgy for that long period of time until like this year. Look, guys, I've been, yes, I've been schizophrenic for four years. I bet everybody who's been a long time subscriber on this channel remembers that in the video from October 2017, I've been looking fine. I wasn't this fat, I was looking great. I just uh, released a video showing you guys how I am and I'm thankful for that honest video because it's a great look back at how I've changed but anyway so I've been slim I've been in a great fit until November now uh, I won't make this video about what schizophrenia is I want to make this video to tell you how I got to be schizophrenic and why I believe this subject should be told to you guys because I don't want to lie to any one of you we'll get let's call these chapters I might put chapters on the video but long story short I'll tell you as short as possible on like the 4th or 5th of November 2017 I've been to a party way way up way outside of the city I've lived in my hometown I've been like a hundred and something kilometers away and I've been to this party and a guy randomly showed up and started doing beef with me and I didn't hit him I just said that he should move from the room I was in now at that party I did drink a lot I've combined wine with beer but long story short the second day after he got this kind of beef with me uh, he invited me to a drink game and I was Bro, I was wasted as fuck. I was very drunk. And I remember he poured like the beer at this game where you have to drink fast. And he was in the same team with me. And me being drunk as fuck, I, I didn't care that I was in the team with me. I just want to have fun. And when the party, be when the game began, I drank that beer very fast to win the game. And I still remember like I coughed the beer, bro. It was very, it didn't taste like beer, but I didn't give a fuck. And five minutes after that, uh, I got zoned out, bro. I got so fucking zoned out. I didn't know what was going on. I was like in a fucking overdose. I, I can barely remember. I can't actually remember basically how I, I don't want to expose how I looked like because trust me, it was, it was worse. I was insane, bro. I was insane five minutes after that guy poured me the drink and my friends three friends there were three friends of mine there who didn't like spend a lot of time with me there we only slept in the same room and all that 
bro, they happily took me home, but I was still drugged out. I was, you know, fucking overdose, but I couldn't sleep for almost two weeks. And when my mom saw that I couldn't sleep, I was acting so weird, so zoned out. She took me to a mental asylum, a, a, a mental asylum, yeah. And like there, I, I, I was like in sort of a coma. Like I didn't know what happened to me for like two months. Mama told me I arrived there in like the 12th of or 13th or 14th of November. And this is all I remember. I woke up one day after Christmas or one day before. And I was staying in the bed and I was like, bro, bro. Why is this like this bed so fucking fluffy? And I uncovered myself and I was fat as fuck. I was fat as fuck, bro. I didn't know what happened, I didn't know how I got there. And please don't get emotional that I'm just telling you the story as it is. And now back to the history of the channel. You've, you've seen guys, after that period, in the voice, in everything, it, I was I was just drugged on the medicine that this asylum provided me that I have to take for the rest of my life. And I found out last year that I suffer from schizophrenia and now the medicine i have to take it forever and and i will have to to live this life as a schizophrenic but i'm fine with it i have accepted myself that i am not normal even though i'm a human and i'm normal i'm different from the rest of you guys i like i like i mean that one percent of the people around the world that have to take pills to live a normal life and those pills like the Midora and the Olanzapine, I don't know how it is called in your country, but me, for me, I have to take Midora and Olanzapine. And those two pills, like the, the Olanzapine, I take like 5 milligrams. But the Midora one, which is for schizophrenia, I have to take a 400 uh, milligrams per day. And when I take 200, because my doc told me if I want to lose weight, we should try cutting it off. And it, it, I'm happy it works because I'm. I believe I'm uh, I'm finally confident enough to say that I can do 30 push-ups without being wasted after it feeling like I can walk, I can run, I'm very athletic for for 3 or 4 years I wasn't even though I was going to the gym and I couldn't lose weight and I found out last year that due to these pills I can't lose weight and I've also found out that I'm schizophrenic and don't worry guys I, I, I'm, I'm fucking saying like uh, sorry for crying, sorry for speaking like this sorry for going out of subject but i believe like us the people who suffer from such things like i have i have subscribers i have fans i have people who follow me on instagram and one of them is in a wheelchair and i i i love him bro i love him man imagine being in a wheelchair and saying that my content makes you smile and people think I'm doing YouTube for the money. But this is not the main subject, bro. The main subject is that I want to be clean, clean with you. That yes, I'm not a regular guy. I'm not a regular guy and I, I don't want to lie. I don't want to lie to you, my audience. Looking happy, looking like a clown. Because, bro, to be quite honest... The first two years of doing Saints Row content for me was a blast. But ever since I saw that making Saints Row 5 videos gets the more views, I hate myself for that. But I started to act like a clown. I started to get in random beefs. I didn't want to get in those beefs. I surely knew that being a clown will entertain you guys more. But I'm not a clown. I'm not normal either, I'm just a human being. And I just want to be plain and honest with you guys about this situation. I want you guys to know that I'm 100 with you guys. And sorry, I just can't look, I just can't look at the camera, bro. It's the first time I'm recording a video and I'm just looking at this statue, bro. I'm just looking at this statue, I'm not looking in your guys' eyes. And in communication, looking plain eyes to you guys, it's like... The most important thing, and people are gonna say, bro, you lied in this video. 
But tell me, when you're fucking crying, do you look in the people straight in the eye, bro? I'm very honest with you guys. And to get to the subject that I've talked about in my Romanian channel about this, that I am schizophrenic, and I didn't take the pills with me as I did in that video, but bro, I hate the fact that people who don't suffer from such mental stuff, they milk having those mental problems for views. They make TikToks saying, bro, I am schizophrenic, bro. No, you're not. And you're making you look like an idiot. And you are just, you're just a worst human being, bro. You, you can't joke about stuff like this. I see people on Twitter. Yes, I've updated my bio saying I'm schizophrenic. People say that I'm not taking my pills randomly. People on the internet. And I'm not going to show the screenshot. But if you go to my Twitter, you can see that some person randomly started saying, bro, take your pills. For what, bro? You're just a kid. Why making such jokes on very serious problems? Why are you making that? Also, I'm rocking the... The Saints Row color, bro. I just found out about this. Look. The Saints Row color, baby. But yeah, bro. Uh, fans, family, subscribers. Please accept this video. Not as a crying for attention video. But as a friend who had a problem for the longest time. And decided to share this problem with you. Who just said, bro, look. I, I, I kind of didn't, I, I, I wasn't honest with you guys, you know, because I, I'm not even checking Discord, I haven't checked Discord in one month, but I bet some people are still making fuss on that channel who did a video on me, bro, and yes, that video was a skit, was a poorly made skit, and yes, I was schizophrenic that time, and I'm still schizophrenic, but trust me, guys, all this boycott that has happened to me, Fucked up my peel intake, they fucked my mentality up, bro. Why should I lie that I didn't care about that boycott video that channel made, bro? It, that, it didn't affect that he destroyed my image. I know he was gonna make a video. I couldn't wait to make a to, to see him make a video. But bro, I've been cancelled from Deep Silver. I've been cancelled from an Eba. I I've just been cancelled for what? For what? I don't know. So yes, there are, this, there are so many subjects, but I just feel like I want to talk with you guys. I'll try to make this video nicely edited. I'll, I'll try to make it look nice, not that bullshit content I've been on my phone. But thank you guys. Thank you for being for the longest with me. Thank you for letting me entertain you guys. And thank you to everybody who, who shares my videos, who at least leaves a like. I thank you a lot, guys. So this has been everything. It's your boy Aaron the Schizophrenic, the clown of the Sinjo community. If I'm still part of that community. And more content, more awesome content, more gaming content. A lot of content is coming this month, so make sure to subscribe in case you're new. If this is my first the first, first video you're watching of me, thank you for uh watching it till the end. And then I'll, I'll I'll just I'll just check you guys later, bro. Let's go and thank you for again staying until this part as always i love you guys i truly do